Thank you, Arvid. Good morning, my friends. I'm Li Leding from Baidu Cloud. I'm very happy to meet you at the ONE forum today. Well, unfortunately, we can only communicate online. For the past three years, we have been separated by the pandemic and able to see our colleagues, friends, and even families. Confronting such difficulties, digital technology is particularly important. In fact, our world is being surrounded by ubiquitous computing. There are countless data generated every moment, and this continuous data need to be processed in timely and proper manner. This data not only requires abundant computer power to possess, but also need a variety of computing methods to meet the requirements of the thing. Today, we are familiar with the cloud, which brought fundamentally changes to the information technology in both economics and agility. But beyond the large data center, there are more data that need to be processed, such as variable video conferences, urban management, and smart hardware in the home which requires lower latency, cheaper bandwidth, and higher privacy protection. To solve this, we need edge computing. Since 2017, Baidu has been investing in the development of edge computing technology, continuous enriching our enterprise service matrix, and providing developers and customers with better products. We believe that edge computing and cloud computing are highly complementary technologies and the two should cooperate with each other to meet today's increasingly complex digital needs. So we propose the concept of edge cloud fusion. The concept means to develop, test, and manage the application on the cloud and perform actual data processing and device control at the edge. Applications and data are transported between them, thus forming a live system, a positive cycle of efficiency. Following the concept of edge cloud fusion, Baidu has established a commercial edge computing product called Baidu Intelli Edge, short as BIE. And in BIE, users can collect the data from different kinds of terminal devices in local network, process data in edge devices by several different kinds of computing, including a small chipset like a Raspberry Pi or dedicated PC servers, and control all of them in the cloud. There are four key rules we share in the Baidu Intelic Edge system. The fusion to combine the cloud and the cloud and edge, a unified to unify all kinds of different hardware, software, and network to keep it open, open to all users, protocols and standards and practical. We provide more, a lot of different practical, practical solutions. Okay. Following the, so we believe that it is impossible to promote the development of edge computing by just one company, but by the power of more individuals and organizations, by the power of the community. So we refine the core technology in Baidu IntelliEdge into an independent open source project and join the newly established LFEdge in 2019, which is the Beetle project. Beetle is committed to provide a unified environment, management, and a security model for all edge computing to become the link between the edge and the cloud. Next, I'd like to share the technologies and innovations of Baidu and Beetle. The first version of Beetle 1.0 adopted a containerized design. It leveraged the Docker and a series of function containers. You can find that the Beetle master program runs in the host environment and it receives the remote configurations, save it persistently, and command the Docker system. And then a series of function containers will launch by the Docker daemon and provide services. So by using this version, the, the initial version of Beetle, terminal devices could communicate with each other in the Lotto network by sending and receiving messages. And data could be processed in real time and synchronized between cloud and the app. In the first version, we have a lot of features to Beetle. The users can write Python scripts 
to process the data and even use TensorFlow to do AI inferencing. And in this version, we support four kinds of mainstream hardware and Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, the mainstream operating systems. In June 2020, a year after joining LFH, Beto 2.0 released with Kubernetes support. By this graph, you can find that all your configuration, including the applications, device definitions, and, uh, and your data and the models is collected in the cloud and packed together into a data pack and send it to the remote ad instances. In the edge side, the beetle will unpack the data, data and convert it to the Kubernetes command and make the local Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster to, up, to apply your services. And even more, by this version, before this, all those developers could deploy multiple ad instances in different locations, but each instance was limited to only one computing node. In 2.0, an instance can be composed of multiple computing nodes as a local ad cluster and with the lo local load balancing and fail over and the shared storage and network between them. In this way, edge computing can enter key screen arrows like energy and electricity power. More importantly, Beetle 2.0 reflects our thinking on open ecology and vendor neutrality. Also, there's a lot of different edge computing systems today do support Kubernetes, but a lot of them choose to alter the internal protocol of Kubernetes and even rewrite the underlying key services such as Kubernetes, which results in that users being limited to a specified Kubernetes vendor or a specified Kubernetes version. And by this way, altering Kubernetes means you need to stimulate add instances as Kubernetes worker nodes. That is, it can be difficult to support actors and the limit capabilities of Kubernetes in the app. But Beetle choose a different way. We believe that users should be allowed to freely choose Kubernetes vendors and deployment models according to their actual conditions. They may use the lightweight, lightweight Kubernetes version like the Rancher K3S to save the power or use of a full power multi-node system from the standard Kubernetes community or from the commercial services. Therefore, we could we make cloud and edge as equal. In this picture, you can find that every edge instance is an independent cluster. You may choose the single node cluster or multi-node cluster, or even cluster in in some infra, infra, in other infrastructures, and all this connected together by a cluster to cluster architecture. In theory, this mode can bring arbitrary Kubernetes functions to the app, even including third-party extensions like the CRDs. That is impossible today, and that will be true in the next major version upgrade of Beetle. One important feature of Baidu IntelliEdge is AI integration. And it's common to do AI inference in, on the edge, but there will always be a real issue of edge AI is that the models are often trained by frameworks and the chipsets different than the edge for inference. They're just incompatible. So we introduced an automatic model conversion, matching the corresponding model for the AI hardware reported from Beetle. In one case, a model was trained on the cloud using the Palapad framework on the Baidu's Kunlun AI chipset which was then converted to the OpenVINO framework and applied to an edge instances with an Intel Mobius chipset. By the way, this technology is part of the computer vision solution in BIE. In this solution, the edge devices can quickly become an intelligent vision system. The user just needs to connect the camera, no matter the other network or the USB and plug in the AI chipset like Movidus and push the power button. 
it would automatically download the software, capture videos, and sampling the images, do AI inferences, and send the results up, out. This solution has been applied by dozens of customers in China and is used in important occasions such as safety construction, fire detection, and environmental protection. These innovations have brought infinite possibilities to edge computing. Next, I'd like to show more collaborations and, applic and application cases. The first is the collaboration between Beetle community and Ajax Foundry community. Ajax is com com committed to provide an open source IoT solution on the edge, but it requires all the configurations to be applied in the, on the edge side. By using Beetle, all these conf configurations can be switched from the edge side to the cloud side and do automatic deployment. That will significantly reduce the complexity of operation and maintenance. In the last year, Beetle co-hosted the Ajax Challenge China Hackathon with Beetle Special Award. The event saw a lot of creative projects combining Beetle, Ajax, and AI technologies. And I'm really looking forward to them continuing to grow and mature. The next case is a smart grid. China has the, the world's largest power network and probably the most complex one. It not only requires to realize uh, efficient transmission and stable supply of electricity in the land of millions of square kilometer, kilometers, but also support unstable energy sources such as power and solar and reduce the overall carbon emission. This means that we need to achieve a fast and refined power dispatching in a very large range. Baidu has given a plan to combine artificial intelligence and edge computing. In the cloud, we provide a full functional AI training system allowing to train and test the various power dispatching models. In the meantime, edge computing is is deployed in every area, receiving the issued models and control strategies, connecting to the local sensors, drones, and power equipment to collect data and achieve precise control. That is the smart grid. Another case is industrial quality inspection. Nowadays, using a computer system for automatically quality inspection has become a common method, but it still faces a series of problems. It is slow to upgrade models and hard to iterate models with false and missing the data. In response to these problems, Baidu has proposed an edge cloud fusion solution. We deploy a computer vision system by, by Baidu entirely edge next to the production line. The system can automatically desensitize the error data and upload it to the cloud. The iterated model can then be sent back to the edge remotely and do a more precise and accurate detection. This makes a reducing of model deployment time from one day to one minute. And that means you got a smart factory. The last case is autonomous driving. To achieve an airport level autonomous driving, we need not only intelligent vehicles, but also intelligent roads. If we could detect the problem on the road early, we can help the vehicles to make more accurate judgment. We cooperate with the Baidu Autonomous Driving Team to launch a V2X solution. In this solution, we set up the cameras and series of sensors on roadside and pass the information to the nearest MEC computing node through the 5G network. The node is set up with Beetle and the road recognition algorithm. The recognition results then be sent to the nearby vehicles and transmitted to the regional computing center for global optimization. This solution can reduce the cost of autonomous driving by 60%. Finally, I'd like to show the future of Beetle 2.0. In the next major workshop grid, we will integrate more deeply with Kubernetes, deliver all the Kubernetes capabilities to the edge and manage both the cloud workloads and edge workload in the same control plane. Some features may appear in our June version upgrade, so keep turning. And if you are interested by in Beetle, welcome to join our community. You can get all the source code on GitHub and using the 
main list uh, beetle at list.lfh.org and visit iot.baidu.com to get more practical places. And you can also scan the QR code on the screen to join our Chinese WeChat group. So that is all I'd like to share with you today. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it has definitely been great progress, right? Especially seeing the grid use case, the V2X use case. Manufacturing was already, you know, one of the early use cases, but I think we are really excited mm -hmm. to see the progress, uh, you know, you have made both in the open source community as Beetle and, and as Baidu. So congratulations. If there is any questions from the audience, you know, feel free to ask on the Q&A. Uh, I do have one simple question and we may have a couple of minutes here. Um, which is, yeah, yeah. So as you see, as you see the community kind of uh, maturing and adapting to these use cases, um, uh, how how do you uh, how how are you going to expand the number of use cases um, that that you are supporting as services? Because edge computing has like almost 20 to 100 use cases, right? All over the place. Uh, and you're, we are focusing on a few segments like manufacturing or automobiles or things like that. Where do you see as 2022 focus from a Baidu perspective? Well, in the 2022, Baidu will try to focus on the energy systems. And you know that China is going to, to, to commit to, to create a carbon emission peak and make it make our, our green world. So we do a lot of focus on the energy system to collect data from our factories, our generations, and, and more systems to more precisely, if precisely got the real energy usage and the real carbon emission. And that will help the industries, the producers, industries and the government to monitor how monitor the steps will in, in the future and by having this collected data we may we may, we may develop an algorithm to reduce the carbon emission that is what we are going to do in these years and also there's a lot of different different situation that and we will continue to, to support the combination of the community power and the commercial power to 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 push more development in the edge community. Oh, this is brilliant! I, I'm I'm personally so excited that edge computing can play a big role in in energy and also, again, thank you for the leadership. I think we are out of time, uh, so let me thank you again for the keynote and really appreciate it. Thank you, Arpit. Bye-bye.